Hi guys, Tim here from Great Escape Kayaks. What we're going to do in this video is to show you how to assemble and disassemble the Kingfisher Modular Fishing Kayak with Pedal Drive. It's going to be exciting. So when you take it out of the box, it's going to look a little like this. See? We'll just slide out and we'll show you in a minute how to assemble it and get it together. But first of all, we'll show you how the locking mechanism works. So you'll notice that there are molded teeth on this section that fit into corresponding grooves or notches in the other section. So it really shows that how once the kayak is locked together, it is impossible to pull apart. It is very secure. So how do you put it together? Like every .65 locking system, you have the buckles, and you have a, a small plate, metal plate, just underneath the buckle. And so when you pull the two sections together, you want to be sure that the straps fit into the buckles just above those metal tabs. So now that you have the straps just tucked in above the metal tabs, a real handy trick that will save you wear and tear on your straps is to go around to the front and just lift a bit so that the straps begin to engage under the buckles. And then let it down. And then come back around and just lift and lock. And then you can go back to the front and allow the straps to lock in. And so now that locking mechanism is firmly engaged. So we've taken the seat out of the bag and removed some of the packaging material. And so now we'll just show you the, what needs to be assembled in the seat. So basically the seat back, the seat back becomes detached because it takes too much room, it doesn't fit well into the thing. So as you can see, these holes will fit onto these bolts. So you just take the nut and the first washer off. And slide the seat in. So you do need to compress the seat frame a bit to get it on the other side. And then you can put the washer back on and tighten up the locking nut. You'll notice that these uh, are nylock nuts, so they will lock on once they're tightened in. And just a note, you know, when you get your kayak, and probably the first thing every season, you should probably go over and just check that all the, the nuts and bolts and screws are tight. You know, because sometimes during the assembly process, you know, something doesn't get quite tightened the way it should. And then after a summer's use, uh, before you take it out the first time the next season, it's always a real good idea just to check everything over so that everything is where it should be. Okay. So you'll notice as I tighten this, I tightened it enough so that the nylock locking part was engaged, but there's no need to tighten it too tight. You want to have a little bit of space in between so that as the seat moves up and down, it's not going to bind. Okay, so no need to tighten it too much right here. And then once it's assembled, the next step is to attach the straps that are used to um, adjust the way the seat is. So once these uh, straps are installed in the locks, uh, you can use them to adjust the way the seat sits so that you can find the just the ideal per, uh, comfort level for yourself. So two straps and you need to do that on each side. Now you need to attach the webbing that makes your seat secure. So this flap tucks back here. 
on the seat with the straps out, this part comes up so that the Velcro parts engage. Okay, and then on the buckles, you'll see that there's uh, two notches, so the straps go in. Try not to twist them. Go in the back and then come out the front. and pull up and tighten, okay? And that's part of what um, gives you the seat support. Um, and by the way, this is a very comfortable seat. You'll love it. Like with the adjustable back and the um, web mesh support, um, it's super. And you'll notice while we have it upside down here, you'll notice this little handle in the front. And you might wonder what that's for. But once you have the seat installed, as we'll show you in a minute, that handy dandy little hook allows you to give something to grab onto to adjust the seat to slide it back and forth. So just a handy little detail that point sixty five has added. So included in the seat, with the seat, are the uh, this little bag of doodads here. And these are the cam locks that slide into these rails and attach to the front feet of the seat so that you can slide the seat up and down and just lock it in position when you have it exactly where you want it. Okay, so as you can see, they're meant, they have these flat tabs that are meant to slide in to the rails like this so that the seat in theory can be taken apart without removing these tabs which is a real handy idea so we showed you the cam lock and how that works but you might also receive this style so it's exactly the same concept but what it does is it's a, a screw tightener so the knob allows you to just hand tighten it and then loosen it to be able to slide the seat back and forth. So you might get one of these as well, rather than the cam lock. So we'll just show you how to put that together. So you remove the washer assembly, put that up through the bottom of the seat foot, and then Thread the cam lock assembly back on. And at this point, it's easier to turn the flat bolt part. So I'll also show you an alternative method for installing these foot connectors to attach your seat. Uh, but I'll explain as, as well the risks involved so that you can weigh for yourself if you, you know, which method you prefer to use. So you can, of course, take the, the, the nut and the washers off the bolt, slide it in very easily into the track, and then drop the feet over top, put the washer and the plastic, you'll notice it's uh, rounded to fit the cam lock, and then that in and then just thread it on okay um, now why I don't recommend this is because just imagine yourself at the edge, edge of the lake you have all these little pieces and you're gonna be kneeling you know if, if you have taken your seat out and you're wanting to put it back in you're gonna be on the edge of a grassy lake and you've got all these little pieces that if you happen to drop them they're going to go in the grass and they're going to be really hard to find. And especially this one, because this one is, uh, in most of these cam locks, they're, they're pretty slippery. You know, they, they have to turn easily so that the cam lock can work, but they can also uh, fall out pretty easily. And of course, if you lose this in the grass, and like I, I can't tell you how many parts I've lost in grass. 
So uh, you'll be on the edge of the lake, up a creek, possibly without a seat. So to install the seat in the rails, the first thing that needs to be done is to put the seat in its highest position. The seat is adjustable, and when it's brand new, it is a little sticky, but it gets smoother as you use it. So pull on the bottom and just work this a bit, and finally it's in its highest position. So then, you put it back in. And so with these cam locks, okay, if you turn them sideways, and get the round part in like that, what you can do is by tilting them back, you see you can raise the, the back like that, so it's going to slide in more easily into the chair rail section right here. Okay, so um, I do it one side at a time. So move it into position. And get it in there. And it takes a little bit of fussing. Okay, I finally had it in the right position. So there it is. And then when you're ready to lock it in, you just tighten that up to the point where the cam lock is tight enough that it locks tight. Okay, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be crazy tight. Um, like just finger tight holds it quite solidly. Okay, so once that side is done, you go around and do the other side as well. So the same thing, you turn the cam lock kind of sideways so that you can angle it down and then you just slide it back. Oops. Slide it back to engage. There it is. And then tighten it up a bit and then just check so that it'll. Oops, one more. One more turn or two should do it. Okay, that's just about right. Okay, and that's nice and solid. So when you're done fishing and to take it out, you loosen it up again. And then same process in reverse. You slide it forward, tilt the thing back, and it just pops out. So then we can collapse the seat again, set it aside, and then to take it apart, it's really super easy. You just put your fingers underneath the paddle park knob here, push down on the releases, lift and separate. And there you have it, that easy.